I don't know what this thing is that done hitched a ride with me. I don't know when he hits the ride, but he did it without permission. Now, this morning, after making a cake for my homeboy's son's birthday, which I did post, by the way, on my page. But anywho, um, took my youngest son, the one who got in the car wreck last week, took him to pick up his rental because the other companies, other insurance companies uh, insured who hit him. Um, of course, are responsible for the accident. So, they finally got it set up to where he can pick up his rental car. So, we went to pick up his rental car. And then after that, I left him there. And I went to Buffalo Wild Wings to pick me up something to eat. And I get in my car. I take off. I proceed to, proceed to start driving home. And somewhere between, I guess... the car rental place in Buffalo Wild Wings this thing on my car side view mirror decided to hitch a ride what is it I have no idea I don't know how far he wants to go if he's trying to go all the way back to the hood with me. But I know he better be, uh... He better be, uh... Off by the time I get home. Um, because I don't know. He looks small, but he looks like he might could sting me or something. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. If y'all know what this is, that didn't hitch the ride with me. Please let me know. I don't know y'all but anywho how's y'all day <laughs> I'm just trying to see how long he gonna ride with me <sighs> hopefully everybody is enjoying their Sunday hopefully everybody had a wonderful week a wonderful weekend hopefully everybody is safe sound and healthy I have been seeing so many videos so many stories of so many people who has died recently from uh the Rona, including this family of 14 who had a backyard barbecue and that ended up in all of them getting the Rona and they don't know which one brought it to the barbecue but all of them got the Rona and two people in the family died. I know one of them was the mother of all of the kids I believe the matriarch of that family uh, died and somebody else died. Very sad story. Very sad story. Very sad. And then I happened to see a post last night. A friend of mine um, had attended a, a uh, party bus. A party bus party. And I didn't even think that they were still doing that kind of stuff, you know, during this time. I mean, I guess with the cities opening up and the schools opening up and restaurants and bars opening up, I guess. I don't know. I didn't think that they would do stuff like party buses, though, because of the social distancing. And I mean, heck, if you're going to rent a party bus, you're going to try to fill that mug up. You know, because you got to pay for it. And usually the people who rent the bus, they charge other people who's going to attend the bus party or party bus. And, you know, that's usually how it's done. So, I mean, I hope they have fun and I hope nobody got sick. But, you know, during these times, you can't really tell nobody, you know, what to do. Not condoning anybody who does anything during this time that some people might be like uh side eye that might not be too safe but me personally 
nah, I would have to have turned down that uh, invite to, matter of fact, if I had something to celebrate, I probably would have rescheduled that whole event if it had to do with a party bus. I mean, but anywho, that's just me and my thoughts. Me and my thoughts. Uh, what you got to say about this, you little bug or whatever you are? Anywho, so as I was saying, um, I hope everybody's been safe and healthy and uh, just, mm, it's getting really bad right now. I know, uh, I don't even know why I say getting really bad. I say that a lot, even though it's been bad. But last night here in our city, I had posted the post. Um, it was a, a like a two hour protest. I don't know how much longer it would have went if the police wouldn't have did what they did, but I think it was coming to an end anyway because the, from what witnesses say, the people who were protesting peacefully, by the way, for the murder of James Scurlock, I don't know uh, how many of y'all might remember, but it's still recent, only a few months ago, Jake, uh, he was uh, killed by Jake Gardner, the bar owner downtown. He had killed James Scurlock, and people have been protesting ever since because charges were brought up against that man. And if you want to hear more about that story, look at my prior videos for James Scurlock or Jake Wagner. But anywho, so they were protesting again last night downtown. It was a peaceful event. And then when the, from what I can tell and from what witnesses, witnesses said, the protesters um, started heading back, still protesting, but started heading back to their cars, which was on the other side of the bridge. And the police... Once all the protesters was on the bridge to cross over to get to their cars, they cornered both sides of the bridge and then arrested them for unlawful, um, unlawful assembly. Like, they cornered them. The people couldn't get off the bridge to go to their car. They cornered them, had all them people uh, arrested. They just went one by one, one by one, down the road, arresting people, putting handcuffs on people. They even arrested, not only did they arrest the protesters, they arrest the protesters' council people. Um, they, arrest, they arrested media. They arrested over 75 people last night. They would not allow them to go. They marched for two hours all throughout downtown. And then on the way to their car, they only had a few blocks left going back to their car, still peacefully protesting, and they get cornered by all these police on both sides of the bridge so they couldn't cross. I just don't understand that. So I posted this morning, um, if there's anybody who was at the protest, anybody who knows anybody who was at the protest, if they want to come on our show tonight, because I really want to talk to somebody who was actually there to find out, like their thoughts on everything that went on um it, it's just crazy they said there was about 150 protesters and half of them got arrested I, I i just don't get it i don't get it because i watched the whole two hour protest and i didn't see anything that would have been like okay they need to arrest these fools they getting out of line I didn't see anything like that. So if y'all know anything, please have somebody hit me up, inbox me, IG me, something, so I can get them on the show tonight, because we will be discussing this tonight. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm about to pull up to my crib. Hopefully this thing will be off of my car by then. Otherwise, I'm going to do like a mad flow Joe from the car to the house. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm out. I'll holla.